comes the money. Here we go. Money talks. Here comes the money. Money, 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 money. <laughs> dollar, dollar. Dollar, dollar. <sighs> Let's see what's been happening while I've been gone today. Mm, some new Endgame TV spots. That is on Friday. Yeah. Frick, yeah, I'm excited. Um, yeah, a bunch of reviews, crap, and... There's a new Dark Phoenix trailer. Hmm. Well, I guess I'll give it a watch. Why not? She should be dead. Did you hear what the kids are calling you? Phoenix. Hello, Jean. Who are you? The better question is, who are you? Something's happening to me. Well, I lose control. Bad things happen. But it feels good. That power destroyed everything that ever came into contact with it. Until you. The X Men fear you. And what they fear. We seek to destroy. She'll kill us all. The girl dies. She's still our friend. She's not Dean anymore. All right. I'm going to review it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Let's do it. It's funny. I can't actually remember the last time you were the one risking something. I can't actually remember the last time you were the one risking something. The X-Men franchise is pretty interesting to me. Some of these films are absolute fantastic masterpieces. Movies like Logan and Days of Future Past. But this franchise has some really bad ones, like Origins, one of the most mocked superhero films of all time. Or maybe The Last Stand, that one was pretty bad, but surprisingly enough, there is an X-Men film that has successfully beat Origins to become the worst X-Men film ever made. And that film, my friends, is X-Men Dark Phoenix. An embarrassment of a film in every way, an absolute complete failure, and not just a critical bomb, but a financial bomb. For some reason, Fox burned $200 million to make this, and they barely made $250 million. Probably over $100 million was spent on marketing. Fox held on to this film for way too long. They spent millions and millions on reshoots. How come no one pointed out the obvious issue with spending this much money on it? Apocalypse's box office compared to Days of Future Past showed that people started to not really care for X-Men anymore. And sure, Logan made a heck ton of money, but that's because the trailers didn't suck and the film looked incredibly unique, and it had the R rating. Dark Phoenix is the definition of bland, and beyond that, it's a complete disaster of a film. Nothing works at all. I know I say that in every single one of these reviews, but trust me when I say that nothing I mean, nothing in this movie is of any quality at all. So as usual, I'm going to break down why Dark Phoenix is as awful as it is. Spoilers for those of you who actually haven't seen this movie, which is actually quite a lot of you considering the fact of how much money it lost. Anyway, enjoy. Spoiler warning. Let's go. Reason number one, the characters are terrible. If there is one element that really bugs me with all of these X-Men films, it's the characters. Unlike Marvel, the characters change constantly. 
Even though Apocalypse is the sixth X-Men film, it has a completely different cast than the first X-Men. In Marvel, you have consistent characters. It's a nice way of saying that the X-Men films should have stopped like 10 years ago. But Apocalypse has some entertaining characters, should they get be here, right? <laughs> well, they could have been. But this movie sucks, so what What do you actually expect? The characters are absolute garbage. And it's not because the characters are unlikable or boring. It's because the film hinges on you caring for these characters. This movie doesn't set them up at all. It actually thinks we remember the characters in the last movie. They were entertaining in Apocalypse, sure, but not exactly interesting. So why were they good there? Because they weren't exactly integral to the film's quality. This film acts like Infinity War, where it can just throw us back at these characters like we know everything about them. Why does this work in Infinity War? Because they had 18 films of development prior to it. There is no reason for them to have to reset up the characters because they've been set up over 18 movies. If this film had the exact same cast of the 2000 X-Men, it would be fine. But we barely know anything about these characters. And there are some new characters in town. Yay. First, we have the villain. No, not Jean Grey. You know, the character whose whole point in the film is to turn bad. Nope, it's a shape-shifting alien. She's the villain. Yep, you heard me right. They threw aliens into the final film of their franchise. Do you know how out of place aliens are in a freaking X-Men movie? Marvel was able to introduce aliens because they, because it was set up and developed. It made sense within the universe of the story. Here, they just plop some aliens in and it makes absolutely no sense. And her as a character is so unbelievably boring. Like, oh my god! She does not give an ounce of personality. Whether that's the script's fault, I don't know, because Jessica Chastain is an absolutely fantastic actress, but clearly here they told her to not actually be fantastic and use her talent. How about we talk about Mystique and how she went from being one of the most fantastic characters in X-Men to the most boring and pathetic of them all. Let's compare the makeup of her in Dark Phoenix and the makeup from Days of Future Past. Can you tell the difference? The, the amazing difference is that Dates Future Past's makeup is amazing, and Dark Phoenix's looks like a cosplayer at Comic-Con. This film not only ruins one likable character, but two. Freaking Charles Xavier is in this movie, and he is such a hateable character. He's just a selfish, greedy, and lazy jerk. He's so dislikable, and I actually kind of wanted the X-Men to lose because of him. Really? What a shocking twist! But I can never want James McAvoy to die. He's too likable. Just because James McAvoy can never be bad in a movie. He has God-given talent. Have you seen Split? Whatever, let's get back to the, the Dark Phoenix. Magneto's back. How's he? He has the exact same character arc he's had from the last three films. Yep. At the end of the day, there is so much wrong with these characters that I could go on for literally years. Reason number two, the script is god-awful. It's quite an achievement to have a script this bad for a film that has a $200 million budget. 200 godforsaken million dollars were put into this movie. 200 million dollars! There are many sub-reasons why the script sucks. For one, it's really boring. Be terrible all you want. Be broken at your core all you want. But don't be boring. The simple way I can describe this film is... But nobody cares anymore. Second, it's ridiculous in a bad way. Let me break this down. There are some shape-shifting aliens that are looking for Jean because she got this power that was randomly just passing by Earth. Why was it passing by Earth? We don't need to know that. At least Apocalypse was somewhat believable. Like, okay, it was... It was really, really, really stupid. But it wasn't nearly, and I mean nearly as stupid as Dark Phoenix. And apparently the Phoenix Force was create created the entire universe. WHAT?! Do I have to stress this anymore? No, no, I, I don't have to stress this anymore. Reason number three, the visuals are absolute garbage. The X-Men films have always been pretty creative with the visuals. Like, they're not amazing and they're nothing that stands out to me. But they do look pretty nice. Obviously, I can't say the same for this one. Because, jeez, this movie looks bad. This movie looks like it was filmed in 2005. It's so bland and boring. Not one cool shot appears in the movie. And the CGI is 
Oh god, it's out of this world. It is awful. For some reason, I see these films with multi-hundred million dollars, and they look atrocious. Like, this movie doesn't have one good effect in it. It's masterfully awful. This movie is unbearably ugly. Reason number four, the dialogue is laughable. On most epic movie reviews, I don't actually mention the dialogue because it doesn't exactly stand out to me. All the movies I've covered have had bad dialogue, I'll just say that. But this movie's dialogue is something to be cherished. And by the way, the women are always saving the men around here. You might want to think about changing the name to ex-women. Congratulations, Dark Phoenix. You have some of the best feminist messages ever. It had to be said, you know, it had to be said, you know, the women were always doing all the work, but, but nobody ever mentioned it in the X-Men films. So yeah, we had to mention it. That was so necessary, so not forced feminist propaganda. Nice work to you. Congratulations! Oh my god, it's astounding. Do I really, do I really need to explain why the dialogue is so awful in this movie? Do I really need to explain? She's changing. And what? I'm scared. Who are you? The better question is, who are you? You're afraid of it because you think it makes you bad, evil. All the words you've been taught to keep you in line. Even your X-Men. You can. We're doing space missions now. Cool. Did you hear what the kids are calling you? Phoenix. When I lose control, bad things happen. But it feels good. Are you threatening me? That's right. That would be a bad idea. You like it, don't you? As opposed to being hunted and despised. Well, you know, actually, I do. It's funny. I can't actually remember the last time you were the one risking something. You're always sorry, Charles. And there's always a speech. But nobody cares anymore. If you touch her, I will kill you. Reason number five, the Disney Fox film made this a complete mess. I'm sure we're all aware of why this movie bombed. For some people unaware, earlier this year, Disney bought out Fox. The intent was to gain more franchises, more properties, more money so they can make more live action remakes and add X-Men to the MCU, which is actually something I'd be cool with. Which obviously conflicts with this movie because this movie was already finished and was already supposed to come out in June when the Fox deal officially went through. So they just decided to release it even though it was obviously going to bomb. And obviously this film is supposed to have a sequel, but it's not supposed to be the finale. There's no closure, there's no setup, there's no takeaway, it just ends like every other X-Men film should. It ends the exact same way as the other ones. Part of me wants to have had a sequel to this movie so I know I actually get a good conclusion, but another part of me remembers how awful this movie is and makes me hate the idea of any more Fox X-Men. Oh my god, what a mess. Reason number five, the marketing was atrocious. Another reason why this movie bombed is because of the god-awful trailers. This movie's trailers had to prove to the world that it had something new and original to add to the X-Men universe. Because people were really getting sick of it, you can see the box office declining over the years. Obviously, it didn't do that. The marketing of this movie showed us all that this was going to be a disaster and had nothing to offer to the X-Men universe. Also, you, so you gotta laugh at the fact that they forgot that this was a finale until like the last minute, so they released a commercial that was copying Endgame's commercial that was supposed to say, Hey, look, reflect on the past 20 years. They even say on the tagline, Now they must face their worst enemy, one of their own. Hey, what a great transition to the final reason. And the final reason Dark Phoenix sucks is obviously that it is incredibly unloyal to its source material. So imagine you're a producer making a film and, you know, your fans didn't like that film. So you decide to try and do that film again. Maybe give them a new start. Maybe give the fans what they wanted. So what do you do? You hire the exact same writer of the first one that completely ruins it over and say, Hey, do you want a second chance? That's like having George Lucas write and direct episode 9. Wait a minute. Why can't Jean just be the villain? It's not that hard. She's not really the main antagonist in either of these movies because they want to have like a main villain who's causing her to do the bad things. At least in Last Stand, she seemed kind of evil. I know we're all supposed to hate Last Stand, but we got to appreciate some things it did because now we have this movie to compare it to. She's not a villain in this movie at all. Jessica Chastain is the real villain here and she's easily 
the worst villain in the X-Men universe. I already talked about her in this review, so I'm just going to stop talking about her right there. How about make Jean the villain? How is that hard? Why is it hard to make Jean the villain? It's literally Dark Phoenix. It's about Jean being the villain and fighting the X-Men. And this being hard for the X-Men because she's their friend. Yeah, they fight her in this movie, but she doesn't want to fight them. So why isn't she the villain in the movie? But the Dark Phoenix storyline can be good. I know it can. I know that this can be a good storyline. It sounds awesome. I've never read the comic, but I know this story could be good. I, I just know it. But it doesn't seem like this writer's intentions are to make it good. Instead of making a gritty, violent, and dark conclusion to X-Men, we just got this really bland and forgettable superhero movie. Conclusion. What an absolute disaster. Dark Phoenix fails on every level possible. The script, the acting, the visuals, the dialogue, it's all utter trash. I personally call this one of the worst comic book films made in years. We went from Logan, a brilliant, heartfelt, sweet, but also brutal, violent, and intense film, to Dark Phoenix, a lifeless, bland, boring, and stupid film that is a complete obnoxious mess. However, I kind of feel bad for this movie. For one, it lost $200 million. For two, it wasn't it was really its fault that it got completely ruined. It was the Fox deals problem. Maybe if they actually thought about it, they would have burned this god-awful script and rewrote it and got better writers. Because I still believe that there can be a good Dark Phoenix film. I know it's possible. Most people will disagree with me. But there is so much to work with here. With the right talent and the right crew, this could be good. Heck, we could get this in the MCU. She could be the next Thanos. It could be awesome. I d now, I do hear that there's a new film called New Mutants coming out, so I guess this technically isn't the conclusion, and there's also Deadpool 3. But New Mutants has been delayed back by like two years, so it's safe to say that we probably won't be seeing that film anytime soon. This movie is an awful and boring movie. For the very few of you who chose not to see this movie, then you made a good call. No one should ever have to witness this movie again. It's a boring and competent mess. Some may choose to decline my warning, but remember, this is easily the worst X-Men film yet. And that is saying something.